Good morning, girl. Did you really just wake me up? Just to leave me over here? Why you wake me up, Flo? Why you wake me up? Oh, oh gosh. Ugh. You doing good today? Well, I was still sleepy. I promised that I would be posting more this month and technically since I cut the camera on, this is day three of vlogging this month. It's time to get up. Time to look alive. Oh, everybody start their day off differently. Sometimes I even start my own day off differently. Sometimes I don't brush my teeth first. Sometimes I go down there and have a cup of coffee. Then I come back and brush my teeth. It just depends on how I'm feeling. But today, we're brushing our teeth first. Fresh. Now it's time to go have some much needed coffee. Everybody's different. Some people have their customized coffee cups. Well, I just got this. Everybody's coffee machine is different. Some people actually go to Starbucks for coffee. Some people have an old fashioned coffee pot. Well, mine's, I just gotta fill it up with water like this. Open up the back. And no, this is not a brand deal. And then I just, you know, dump that water up in there like that. Make sure I don't overfill it. And that's it. Close that. I don't know if I cleaned it out last time. Nope, I didn't. So we're gonna take this one out, which just so happens to not be all the way empty. I kind of hate this machine. It don't even use the whole freaking coffee bank. Anyway, put a new one in, slam that. You hear that noise? That's the good sound. So we're gonna press this, and it's gonna begin creating our coffee out of that water and that little package I just slapped up in there. Now, me personally, I'm only drinking mine's black, and it ain't got nothing to do with race. Lexi. <laughs> But uh, how you drink your coffee? Cream mixed. Cream mixed? Mixed. So basically you drink yours white? Sure. And I drink mine's black? I like more cream than coffee, honestly. So, so you like more of the white stuff? Oh, you like it because it's sweet. Black coffee's healthy, right? Amen to that, amen to that. Let's get over here and see what that coffee machine didn't did. What the freak? It ripped me off. I don't have patience. Speaking of patience, if you wonder what that sound is, I actually got these from TikTok, man. I'm not gonna even gatekeep. These are supposedly air purifiers, not the water ones, just straight up air. It came with a filter and it was easy, just plug and play. I plugged it up, hit them buttons a couple times, beep, 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 and they've been on all night purifying the air for me. And because I got the twins, who I think have asthma, I bought a lot. I got one right here, that one over there I showed you, another one right here. I even got another one all the way over there, man. We're trying to keep the air as clean as possible. And yes, I'm gonna be over here editing a video today, so I have to have one all up in my face, just making sure I breathe the cleanest air possible. Now, everybody with me together, let's breathe it in. Blow it out. The co oh, my coffee. Hey, Flo, watch about that, watch about that. There it is, man. Special coffee, man. CJ So Cool himself has made this pot of black coffee. And I'm gonna enjoy every last drop. Now, like Lexi said, it does taste better with creamer, but I'm all about health. So I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about how it tastes because everything that tastes good isn't good for you, right? Basically, just because candy tastes good doesn't make it good for you. Just because vegetables taste bad doesn't make it bad for you. She know what I was trying to say while she over there looking crazy. I'm almost, uh, uh. Okay, it sounds like my coffee machine is just about done giving me free coffee, okay. One more drop, nope, that's it. I guess I didn't put enough water in there, but actually that's a lot because black coffee tastes like ass. Anyway, we're gonna drink this outside. I'm not drinking this inside because it's way too hot. I need to go outside. Come on, you going outside with me, girl? Come on, Flo, let go. Hustle, get your big butt up. Come on, Blackie. We outside with it, boy. It's looking very, very sunny out here today too, by the way. Ah, shoot, ah, ah. Ah, back up, Flo. Burnt my hand. Okay. Oh, so I see that the wind put that back in the pool and blew over the seats to the tanning beds. But it didn't have no effect over here because all my pillows are actually tied down. So I'm gonna sit over here. Ah. Hope you guys don't mind me sitting outside drinking my coffee. Eat. Burnt my goddamn lip. Should I put an ice cube in my coffee? Flo, where did you go? Oh, 
Hey girl. You want some of my coffee coffee? That just my baby doggy. That just my baby doggy. Hustle, why are you drinking chlorine, bro? You're disgusting. Ew, don't get none of that slob on us. Nasty boy. Some people like wintertime, some people like summertime, some people like spring, just in the middle. I actually like fall. <laughs> because in the fall, it's cold enough for you to wear all your jackets and your hoodies, and I love hoodies. But in the summertime, it's way too hot to wear anything. But you gotta wear something. Same in the winter. In the winter, it's too cold to even be outside, so even the cold ain't helping. But spring, spring is cool, but it rains too much, so I'm all about the fall, man. Even though I'm not trying to fall off. That's still hot. But it's not as random as uh, her eating sticks and twigs. You think that tastes good? You should taste some black coffee. Hustle, hustle, don't, don't, don't. What you looking for? Look like you sniffing butt. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Why you all up in my camera? Come here, hustle, come here. Get your butt over here, boy. Let me see your teeth. Did you brush your teeth today? Did you brush your teeth? Flo, did you brush your teeth today? Let me see. Hustle, what you doing, boy? Let me see. What, what, what? Let me see your teeth. Get your butt over here, boy. Let me see yours. Ooh, you got some dirt on yours. You got some dirt on your teeth. Let me see. Oh, your teeth pretty. Let me see your teeth, boy. Come here. Get your butt over here. Hustle. I'm not playing with you, boy. Ain't nobody going on a wild goose chase. Get your butt over here. Stop. I say stop. She have Labrador. Get. What the? Flo, I can't catch him no more. Sit, sit, boy. Oh, Miss Bruno, man. I remember Bruno was trained. You can't even train hustle, man. Just a he is big. That's the stretch him and CJ be doing right there. Come here. I was trying to play with hustle and he licked all over my freaking face. Now I'm pretty sure I got rabies, so I'm in here using detergent. Wait, not detergent. This soap to wash my face. This is crazy, man. I just woke up. Was having a great day, and now I got dog saliva all over me. Now, rule number one: Black people not supposed to let dogs lick all over them. Now, of course, white people do it all the time. For black people, they literally take your black card if they see you doing this. How do I know? Because I had a video letting flow lick me, and everyone just took my black card. So technically, I'm not even black no more. But I'm trying to save face, so I'm wiping all this off. So I don't want you guys out there thinking, man, CJ let dogs lick up. No, I do not. I was trying to play with the dog, and he put his tongue all in my face. Ooh. I never even got a chance to drink my coffee. Ah, I can't even flex it, act like it tastes good. It do taste disgusting, but knowing that it's healthy for me, it just, it just makes me do it. Ah. Ah. Woo! Is this espresso? One thing that y'all know has to happen every day, we have to eat as humans, so, uh, even though 95% of my life is normal like you guys, I still got to cook, man. And I haven't been really showing y'all that. So today, we're going to change that. We're going to be cooking some flats, apparently, and some chicken thighs. I actually might grill today, because that's the funnest part of cooking to me. Since I'm going to be grilling, I'm going to need some of this match light. This is the best stuff I've ever seen, bro. You really don't need that uh, little gasoline stuff you be pouring on it. You really just need a match. Well, me, I don't have matches, so I'm going to use a lighter. Which should be pretty fun for you guys watching because this is the funnest part of cooking. Well, grilling when it comes to me. I like fire! Before I start cooking, I have to ask the question that's been on my mind ever since I did it. Who looks better? Dreadhead CJ or braid-headed CJ? Wait, braid-headed? Braid, braid that's like a tongue twister. Braided-head CJ looks better than dreadhead CJ if you ask me. You know why? Let me tell you. Because I look more clean, my hair looks way smaller, and... I don't have a bunch of raggedy tips at the end of my hair that look like they're ready to get pulled off. So I need y'all to answer in the comment section though because honestly, that's just my opinion. But I want y'all opinion. Just like I asked y'all in the last vlog to comment what y'all think we should be doing on the channel. I'm about to start reading those comments right now just so y'all can know. I don't be lying when I ask y'all to comment. You don't be wasting your time. I actually take my time and read the comments. So let's get into it. First thing I see when I'm at the comments is 59 minutes ago, somebody named G Baby said, Bring back the old C that's so cool, but with your new family and add Kamari with a K, even though our name's spelled with a C. And every video get lit again. That's what we want to see. Replay it. <laughs> but with your new family, get back on your grind. Break the internet again. 
amen to you, man. And you commented twice in the last hour. This is not a comment to bash you to bring the OC this a cool back. You have Lexi, spell Lexi wrong, and the twins. Bring Kamari back, have fun like you used to to break the internet like you used to. Man, we don't wanna keep seeing you record videos at home. Like, do something, get back at it. What? I'm back recording at home again. This is not what G-Baby wanna see. They probably already left the video. As soon as they see, oh, he at home, I'm not watching it. Well, guess what? You just told me to go back to the old city school like I used to be with the old family, but do it with my new family, right? You told me to bring the twins and Kamari. But guess what? Every video I used to record was at home. Not in this house, technically, because I didn't have this one yet, but it was at home. If you go back and you do your research, all of my videos were at home. I will wake up, I'll record the kids at home. We would have fun at home. We might go outside, but guess what? We was in the backyard at home. All we was doing was playing basketball, getting jumpy houses, Having parties. Why is my lawyer calling me right now, man? Why, why, why is my lawyer calling me? Hold on, one second, one second. Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Mr. Brady? Yes, is this Attorney Adam? Uh, yes, this is his assistant. Oh, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing okay. Uh, yeah, so we actually have a refund check for you of 60 <laughs> Um, the money from your trust account. Um, so we do have your refund check ready. I was wondering if you wanted us to mail it or if you wanted to come pick it up. Um, I guess you can mail it. Okay, what's the best address for you? Okay, perfect. We'll go ahead and get this sent out to you. Thank you. Okay, sorry about that interruption. Back to the video. Uh, somebody said, I still love you regardless. I love you too, man. I appreciate that. I'm a heart dad. I'm a like that. Kid C said, CJ, blog ideas. Traveling videos to other states and with and without the kids. Go and do some activities that you've never done before. You know what? I remember doing something like that. I went and flew a plane for the first time. A stunt airplane. Doing circles, all kind of flips. I controlled the plane. Something I've never did, never even thought about doing in my life. Even puked in the air. First time ever, right? Got the lowest views I've ever seen in my life. It's like people don't want to see me go outside. They don't want to see me do nothing new. They saying it in the comments, but when I do it, they literally boycott my videos. But when I'm at home, they like that. You know why? Because normal humans be at home 85% of the time. Anyway, I'm sorry for screaming at y'all. Y'all didn't deserve that. You and Lexi do some traveling vlogs out the country. Everybody want to see us go out the country. But when I went out the country with Lexi, I mean, my views was, they was all right. It was like 300K, but that really ain't worth it. I mean, seriously, who finna pay 30 grand to go out the country just so they can get 300,000 views when I can sit at home and get that in three videos without doing nothing. I'm not meaning like that, because that definitely came off wrong, but I mean, it's a different time, man. It's a different world. I done been out the country so many times. If I go get my passport, it'll make you sick, all right? I don't think that that is the answer we're looking for. Going out the country is not gonna solve this CJ So Cool crisis. Okay, yes, I'm going through a midlife crisis right now. I'm 35. I went from getting 35 million views a video to getting 100,000 or less. Okay, that's a midlife crisis. I'm not sad or salty. I'm experiencing life as it happens to me. I mean, you really can't get mad. Oh, shit. I almost lost my damn camera. I mean, as a human, we really shouldn't be getting mad at the downs because we don't get mad at the ups. We, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes when we have enough, we don't even be grateful for them because we don't understand that it's an up. So, my way of living is. I treat everything the same. If I'm having a good day, I treat it the same as it's a bad day. I'm just neutral, okay? And if someone's giving me all the praises and glories and likes and comments and views, I don't treat that as something spectacular. Oh my God, I feel great. I feel great even if I'm not getting that because when you get all twisted up and caught up in all that, your emotions start to go through a roller coaster and that's when you do things like harm yourself, you know, drugs, liquor, gambling, violence. I'm not trying to go down that path. So technically, I'm trying to teach you guys out there that even when everything is going great for you, you still gotta treat it as if nothing's happening at all. Because at the end of the day, you can fall out tomorrow, and I don't want you to take that as, oh my God, I just gotta die because there's no way I can live on this platform when I used to be on this platform. Stop thinking like that. Anyway, why you worried about what people think about how you raise your kids? They're your kids, raise them how the fuck you want. Okay, you know what, I'm a heart daddy like that. I appreciate that. Robin Camille, you right. I'm not actually worried about anything. I just like to, you know, voice the comments. Sometimes people type comments not expecting the actual vlogger or influencer to shout them out or bring it to the attention of the public. But I be doing it. 
So yeah, that's why I did it. I'm not really concerned with it though. It's not really hurting me in any way. Hence the fact that I just said that even being up or down doesn't hurt me or affect me in any way. It's all neutral. If you actually loved your kids, you would drag Lexi the same way she dragged Dale. What in the hell? <laughs> Wait a minute, when did Lexi drag Dale? That's Cap. Stop the violence, stop the Cap, stop the lying, stop all of that, okay? What, what you are talking about, I remember specifically, is a video at the old house. When Dale was actually, she was doing what she always do. She would just have one of those moments where she thought she was in control and she could just say what she wanted and be as disrespectful as possible. Lexi, I was recording, I remember, I was vlogging myself. I wasn't even paying attention because honestly, I can't pay attention to everything at the same time. I can't be focused on the dog, focused on the pot that's cooking the food, focused on the vlog that I'm doing, and focused on Lexi who's talking and focused on my kid who. So I can't do all that. I know y'all think I'm a robot, AI, something like that, but I'm really not. So at that specific moment, I wasn't really focused on what was going on, but I do remember Dale was being bad. But sometimes when she being bad, I let her be bad because she's just a kid. And technically it's not even called being bad, it's just her being her. Anyway, Lexi took a hold of her hand and walked her to the room. She didn't drag my daughter, first of all. Lexi's not like that. And Dale loves Lexi, whether you believe it or not. And honestly speaking, Lexi has never laid a hand on my kids in the way that, you know, some of your parents be whooping on y'all. But even if she did, she's my kid's stepmom. So if, if it was a time where I felt like, or Lexi felt like discipline needed to be laid down, I would intervene if it was, you know, a little bit over the top, but it wasn't. It wasn't anything, but y'all keep nitpicking at it. Y'all keep trying to bring it up and try to bring me down and bring her down and try to tarnish our names based off of a one second clip you saw on YouTube, given the fact that the other side was hyping it up as it was so bad. It wasn't even like that, so please, just stop. Because back in the day, they said it takes a village to raise a kid. Boy, I was getting beat by anybody. My gym teacher, my English teacher, my choir teacher, like everybody got to lay hands on kids back in the day. Now, if your girlfriend of a couple of years grabs your daughter's hand and walks her to timeout. She bad, she need to go to jail. Like what's wrong with y'all, man? We as humans need to stop. All we do on a daily basis is try to drag each other down as if what we going through is the best. Like none of us are perfect at the end of the day. Even Kim Kardashian, man. I watched her get booed at the freaking uh, Tom Brady roast off and I was like, wow. A billionaire who has helped people get out of jail, who has done bad things in her life, who has gotten money from doing sexual things, but still doesn't deserve to get that. You know that type of energy. Who boos? Like Lexi was telling me the other day, imagine fixing your lips to say, boo, you suck. Like what? What kind of human does that? I'll tell you, the kind of human that gets on the phone and types negative comments. Those are the type of humans that boo people at events. I mean, it's just crazy, but you know, I'm not one of those people, so. It's kind of hard for me to understand the way that y'all think, but I do comprehend everything. I see what's going on, but I just don't know why. <sighs> I'm gonna dishearten that one. I'm sorry. Dislike that. Uh, do a family photo shoot, everyone in the same color. Ooh, I remember I did that. That was actually a good idea. That video got 500,000 views, too. I, I remember everything, man. It's like, everything is here. I knew Lexi wanted CJ. The way she moving in that seat and looking at him, ooh. Excuse me. And soon as he said, turn me on, she thought he felt the vibe. She was excited. Ooh. Queen, Queen GG30, man. Thank you for uh, actually observing that. I did not notice that, but I appreciate that. Lexi's is smiling over there right now, so apparently you're right. That was a good comment. The best solution is to read these comments without emotion because most of these people will drive you crazy, shaking my head, live your life, CJ, and you're doing a great job being a great father. Man. I'm done reading comments right there. Thank you, come again. See, that's the only type of comments I like to read right there is when people are actually using their right mind and then they're typing something. Because sometimes people go, oh, this is gonna be funny. I'm gonna type something dumb as hell because he ain't gonna see my face. Like, bro, your name is user 665-8800. Like, no one knows you, you don't even know yourself, and then you're typing crazy stuff. It makes sense, but you know what? Hey, what the? What is you doing out here, man? Huh? Get your butt in. Y'all can stay out there as long as y'all want, not me. I don't know if it's the black coffee or just the sun, but it's hot outside and I gotta take a dump. Last time I tried to FaceTime Kamari, they didn't answer the phone. This time they did. Hey, Kamari. What's wrong with your hair? It wasn't like that yesterday. I'm taking it down. Why are you taking it down? Bro, you getting your hair done again already? Baby, you just got it done. Let me see what you look like. Girl, you ain't finna start that again. I didn't told you to have some confidence about yourself. Whether your hair is done or not, you still beautiful. I just, I just woke up, 
You just woke up. Girl, it's like one o'clock. I know. Okay, so you having fun sleeping in, getting your hair done every other week? Mm -hmm. Well, can I at least get a little kiss or something? Mwah. No. This kid don't love me, y'all. Uh. She don't love me no more. Can I see your bed then? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause what? No, cause I didn't make it. I don't want. Okay, so I'm in the headboard. Jeez. Yo, I didn't make my bed. My hair getting taken down. I don't look right. Like, come on, man. I didn't raise you like this. Ooh, it's so cute. Hey. So, can you change the color of your lights? Yeah. Exactly. You like that? Okay then, well I was just calling to show YouTube that you were still beautiful, but apparently you don't think so, so I guess I'll call you on a better time. Okay. Okay, I love you. Love you too. Yeah, right! So currently the kids are playing right now, and they're playing nice. So yeah guys, when I don't have the kids, I still have kids because Flo is definitely a puppy and Hustle is just a big baby who's currently stealing her toy. Let me see if I can get close to the action. Hustle, don't choke on that, bro. Why you got the whole bone in your mouth, bro? Hey, yo. Get it, Flo. Get it, Flo. Get it, Flo. Get it back, Flo. Get it. Take it from him. Take it from him. Oh, I kind of sound like Diddy. Bad boy, bad boy. Take that. Hey, that was, that was good. Pause. What's funny, bro? There's nothing funny about mistakenly just throwing a Diddy slur out. There you go, Flo. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get, 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 get it, girl. Get, 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 get it, girl. Let me see if I can get it. Hold on, let me, oh, okay, okay, never mind, never mind. I look up and Lexi's over here putting cheese on a piece of tortilla on a skillet. What the, what you making? That would be a quesadilla. Oh, okay, I thought that was baby food. <laughs> uh, you ain't got no meat to throw up in there, no cilantro, no spices. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna mix it up or you just gonna make it like You're that? You're so I'm so spoiled, you know. Wow, ah, there you this go. This is like the quickest, easiest meal. Was your workout easy. quick and easy? No, it's not easy. So, do you like working out? I love working out. How's that toe? You've been limping around on by the way. It's not because I'm not working out. It's because I don't have the energy to work out. How's that toe? You've been limping around on by the way. This is a little mini Lexi interview. I'm just doing an interview right now. Okay, so I was doing. I can't even do it. Right I didn't now. even ask you how you did oh, it, bro, yeah. or even ask you to demonstrate. I just said how I was doing. Hey, yeah. Don't burn the food. Don't burn the food. Don't let me distract you. You know what I'm saying? So according to the fans, they say you be looking a certain way when I say certain things. Turn you on. Turn you on. You oh my God. I ain't Everything even... you do turns me on. Turn, just, me, on. That turn me on. Turn me on. That's funny. But no, nah, since I'm going to be barbecuing later, Lexi decided to make us some of these right here. And she said this is a quick and easy meal for us Americans out there that don't really feel like cooking a hardcore lunch meal. This is not a lunchable, but it is for lunch. I'm gonna be grilling later. I can't wait to show y'all that. But I like to grill at nighttime. You know, whoa, whoa, we're not flashing. We're not flashing. As promised, I am about to barbecue my dinner for me and Lexi. And I got these coals. As I said, I wouldn't have to use none of that lighting fluid on. Yeah, these are better apparently. I don't know, man. This is cooler for sure, but. I don't even say this is cooler. This is harder because this hurts. It's cooler when you got the um, the gas fluid, the lighter fluid, and you just spraying it and making a fire go whoosh, whoosh. That's actually cooler, but this is cool to see because this is like a cool little invention. It's like, bruh, you don't even need the freaking gasoline. You just light the charcoal. If I was a kid and had some of these, boy, 4th of July would have been totally different. I'd have been throwing charcoal bombs at people. That is actually very hot. I wonder if the camera getting hot. Hustle, come look at this real quick. Come here, let me show you something. Let me show you something, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That is exactly what it's supposed to look like right now. So I put the top on, I'm finna throw some of these on there. I should just put the whole glass on there and see what happens, but nah, I'm not gonna do that. Okay guys, believe it or not, this is actually very hot on my fingertips. Oh, wow. I went in there and just washed that bowl and that fast. The meat, oh snap, that's not supposed to be happening. We are not gonna tell Lexi about this. Ah, so hot. Standing over the grill with your fist is crazy. You gotta like do it one, and then you gotta like take a break. You gotta do another one. Ooh, that's burnt, that's too late. I'm telling y'all, man, I'm just trying to multitask. I'm trying to watch the Netflix, wash the dishes, barbecue grill, and vlog. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's probably too high. I solved that problem. I got a little bit longer tongs this time. You ain't getting me. So this time I'm gonna make sure that my meat don't burn on the other side. I'm just keep checking on it. Would you eat my food or no? In the comment section, I must know. Would you eat? My, I'm not even gonna say my food because y'all know I know how to cook. But when it comes to barbecue, would you eat my barbecue? Now it's time to grill some asparagus because even though the twins ain't here, we still gotta get those veggies in, man. Now I'm about to cook my famous mac and cheese. I call it the 99 cheese mac and cheese because I got all the cheeses that exist. And yes, I just realized I was sucking that recording, but my hand was on fire. Anyway, that's about to go in there for approximately 15 minutes. That's how long I'm finna cook my famous mac and cheese. 15 minutes. So at 817, make sure y'all remind me to take it out. Let me cut the oven on so I can be reminded. Don't want to forget it's in there. Before we eat, we must feed the puppies. Speaking of puppies, this dude is a grown dog. Slob everywhere. he be all right. You want some anyway? You want some? What's too hot? Ew, that long suck. Even you saying ew to your dog? Well, I love him. Yeah, right. Flo, you would never slob like that, huh? Hey, hey, slob. Let me see some slob. He ain't got none in you. This dude is just, it would fail. No, it didn't. Yucky. Woo. As you guys can see, this meal came together so perfectly. We got the corn on the cob with the mac and cheese. Of course, we grilled the chicken and the asparagus. And I'm gonna eat every last thing on this plate. I cannot wait. As soon as she's done taking all those pictures. Are you almost done? Thank you. Uh, my stomach's so full, man. Hustle. What you looking at? There's nothing left. You want my bones? You want my floss? Are you serious? Here. Can't have nothing around you. So y'all ate and now y'all just wrestling. I can't even watch Netflix video because this is what I got in front of me. Seriously? She's so little, bro. How are you even playing with her? Like, your whole body is over here. You can literally only use your nose. Get him, Flo! Get him, Flo! Get him, Flo! Get him, Flo! Flo, come get him! Good girl. We successfully made it through a full day of a life in a day and see this so cool. Now it's a new day. I must end this video, but I can't go anywhere without letting you guys know. Don't forget to brush your teeth every day. If you're older than 28 years old, don't forget to drink a cup of black coffee. Don't forget to be as positive as possible because at any given moment, anything bad can happen to you when you don't want to be the person holding a grudge or being negative or holding that negative energy within. So just let it go, man. Whatever it is that's holding us back, and notice I said us, let's just all let it go because right now, I'm about to go. Peace.